Okay, hey, now what I'm going to do is my electronic speed control calibration. I need to set the minimum and maximum levels uh, for my ESC. Uh, I'm going to be doing that with my controller here. And what I'm going to do is, this is my CC3D board. Uh, there's many different ways to do this. Some people use just a separate battery pack to power their receiver. Um, I'm going to power it with another ESC. Use my regular flight battery running through my CC3D board. And then having the power cable from my CC3D board plugged into the battery. And then I'm going to plug the ESC I'm going to be programming into my throttle channel. That's my left stick because I'm mode 2 on my TX. And uh, I'm going to plug it in and then run through a series of uh, beeps and set my minimum maximums and I'll walk you through that. Okay, so on your controller, move your throttle all the way to the top. Full throttle. Go ahead and plug your flight battery in or whatever it is you're using to power your receiver. Okay, when I plug this in, you're going to hear a beep. That's the uh, one beep. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to your TX, go all the way to the bottom. Now you hear a double beep. Now it's saying that it's ready to go all the way to the top. Now all the way to the bottom. Now that's calibrated your maximum and minimum throttle for that specific ESC. So what I did was I went, I started all the way up at the top, turned on my controller and the ESC and, or, and the ESC powered by the uh, receiver, my CC3D board in this case. It beeped once and then I moved it down to the bottom. It beeped twice and then sang a little song uh, telling me that I had programmed that ESC's maximum and minimum values. So now you're going to go ahead and do that with all four of your ESCs um, just so they know what the maximum and minimum values are. After we do that we're going to go ahead and plug in our ESCs again to the CC3D board um, in the correct order. This is one, goes into the top, two, goes into the next one down, three, goes into the next one down, four, goes into the next one down. Okay, now those are all plugged in. We're going to plug in the cables from the CC3D board to our Turner G9X8C. Okay, channel 1 is going to be your 3 wire. It's uh, red, black, and white. That's going to go into channel 1 with your signal wire facing down. Um, so I guess facing towards the top of the receiver. 